Presently, within SOLIDWORKS, there is no option to actually add a variable chamfer. The only variable option we've got is within the fillet itself. So, if we want to chamfer, we're going to have to look at a workaround in order to create this. Now, the first thing I want to do here is we've got a model, and it, it is actually symmetric. So, in order to uh, make it slightly easier to create, we're going to cut this model in two. So, the first thing I want to do is use the front plane, and we'll do an insert cut with surface. And we'll actually remove the geometry on that particular side. Now, what we're going to do now is go to our fillet. And if we go to a manual fillet, and we're going to go variable radius, and we want to select on all the edges. First thing I want to do is we only want one instance. So I'm going to change that to be one. And we'll just run through, clicking on our edges as we go through it. Or we could do a, a control select. Now, what we've got here is various call outs. Okay, it gives us our one instance of our variable uh, radius. So we'll just position these, make it a little bit easier on the eye. And what I'd like to do is add a 5mm value and I'll set all those values to be 5mm. Now on the callouts themselves, what I can do now is just go in here and I can change these individually and I can change that one to be 2. And we can also change that one to be 2. So you can see from the preview we have indeed now got a variable radius fillet. So I'm actually going to accept this and you can see that now that's been added. Now because a chamfer is uh, the option to do a variable chamfer is not available we need to now create a loft between the edges of that uh, variable radius fillet. So I'm going to do this using a lofted surface so I'm going to click on our lofted surface option and I need to select all these particular edges. Now, because it's not one particular sketch or one continuous edge all the way down, I can use my Selection Manager. So I'm going to right-click, select some Selection Manager, and just click on that particular edge. We'll propagate that all the way down, and we'll click on that one, and we'll propagate that. And you can see what I've done is I've got a number of selections, but by using the Selection Manager, that all becomes one group. So again, repeat the process again for my second profile, Selection Manager. We'll click on this edge, we can propagate that, and it does indeed actually go all the way around here, so I can accept that. And what we've got now is two profiles that I can directly loft between. So I'm just going to accept this, and you'll see in our Feature Manager tree, we've actually got a surface body as well as our solid body. So let's have a look at what we've got so far then. If I just hide the solid body, you can see we're left with this particular lofted surface. In order to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to do two things. The first thing is I want to extend this particular surface. So we'll extend this uh, one millimeter, okay? And also we will change the color of it so it stands out a little bit more. So if I just click on the actual uh, surface itself and we'll click on here and we'll change the color in here to be red it just makes it a little bit easier to see so if we now bring in our solid body okay you can indeed see our surface which is actually directly behind our variable fillet now we have two ways of doing this the first way is that we can just do a very simple insert cut with surface and I'm just going to say, right, well, with this surface, cut away all the material on one side of it. Just make sure it is the correct side, which it is. And we'll just click on OK. And there you go. We can hide our surface body now. And it's left behind a variable chamfer. Alternatively, if we uh, just go back one and we'll bring our surface back in, we'll just show that again. We can do the replace face. So it's in our surface tool, so what we're going to say is replace face. We want to actually click on the target face for replacement, which is this particular face here, or these faces. And we'd like to replace it with that face there. And just click on OK. And again, we get exactly the same results using the replace face. So all I want to do is just hide that particular body. And now we want to mirror this over since we cut it originally so we're just going to go to our features and we're going to go to our mirror we're going to mirror on that face we want to mirror the whole body and there we have our variable chamfer